Welcome to Microscope Supply. Today we're doing a product spotlight on the Modic Pantera C2. Pantera C2 is a biological compound or upright microscope that just has a ton of features to love and some options that make it great for just about any application. All right, so starting from the top, just like uh, most microscopes, you have the option for different viewing heads. The Pantera is available with a trinocular or a binocular viewing head. Of course, if you want to add a camera, the trinocular is what you want to go with. They do have C-mounts for just about any microscopy camera on the market, as well as a photo tube with eyepiece options for attaching your own consumer grade or DSLR camera. So the C2 comes standard with 22 millimeter field of view eyepieces. A lot of microscopes in this price range will go with a 20 millimeter, uh, which is a slightly smaller field of view. 22 millimeter is what you would see on a, a really nice clinical quality microscope. So. We are super happy that Modic has gone standard with that 22 millimeter field of view eyepiece. So moving down, I'm sure you'll notice we have this LED light bar, and this is what Modic calls their light tracer uh, technology. And this is one of the coolest features about the C2. You'll notice the knob has an, an eco uh, setting as well as an intensity setting. So how this works is I'll adjust the intensity, the light intensity for each objective. And when I change to the next objective, you'll see it goes to a different light intensity. It's basically memorizing the previous light intensity for each objective. When you move from a low magnification objective to a high magnification objective, there's a very big difference in the light intensity needed to be comfortable to your eye. So instead of having to rotate uh, objectives, especially if you're working between several objectives often and having to manually adjust that intensity, the Modic C2 memorizes those and uh, just really makes for a great viewing experience. And it's one less thing that you have to do when using the microscope. So the C2 comes standard with a rackless stage, which is really nice. You don't have the bar protruding from the side, as well as a double slide holder. And the way that they've designed these stage fingers is so that you can insert a slide uh, with one hand. Doing it with one hand makes things a little bit quicker and a lot easier. So every C2 comes standard with an adjustable field diaphragm. If you want to set Kohler illumination, it's necessary. You need an adjustable field iris diaphragm. On the back of the C2, it has a USB 2 output, and this is to provide power to external cameras. If you do have a camera that uh, requires power as well as the interface, whether that's USB 2 or USB 3, instead of running a cable out to an outlet and then running your USB 2 or USB 3 cable into your computer, you can power it from this external port in the back. And yes, we skipped the condenser, and that's because I want to talk a little bit about the different options available for the C2. One being the objectives and condenser. The standard configuration is bright field. You get a 4, 10, 40, and 100x oil objective. There are several phase objectives available and uh, two different ways to do phase. The first option would be with a phase slider. This has different openings for phase stops or a dark field stop. Uh, the one that I have here is a phase one and phase two, so this would be for the 10x and 20x objective. And the way that you insert this in the, into the condenser is to unscrew one of these holders, and then we just insert the phase slider into the condenser. And this is the stock 0.9 NA condenser that comes with the uh, Brightfield model. This is appropriate if you're looking to save a little bit of money and you're only using, uh, say, two objectives. Uh, for phase, this is a great option. Although, if you're looking to use a 10, 20, 40, 100x objective for phase, you need dark field as well as bright field positions, we're going to recommend the phase turret condenser. Uh, so this is really nice because it has phase one, phase two, phase three. So that's everything from a 10x up to a 100x objective, as well as a dark field stop and a bright field position. This will make things very simple. If you're bouncing back and forth between phase objectives, uh, we recommend going with this phase turret condenser. 
The C2 is also available with a simple polarizer and analyzer, and those again are fairly inexpensive, especially when compared to other makes and models out on the market today, as well as an intermediate fluorescence attachment. The Modic Pantera C2 is a great option for a college or university looking for a more advanced microscope. And in a laboratory setting, if you want to purchase a microscope, but you still need options, maybe in the future you'd like to do phase or dark field or fluorescence, the C2 is going to be a great choice. If you have questions about the Modic Pantera C2 or any other Modic microscope for that matter, you can visit our website at microscopesupply.com or you can send me an email at sales at microscopesupply.com. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.